Hello, my name is Anjana Pastumasran. I am a member of group number nine. Uh, my ID number is ID 21020544. For our DSS assignment one, we built an e commerce web application using Mastack. Also, we use microservices architecture to uh, build this project, uh, build this web application. All, uh, since we use microservices architecture, uh, we divided our system into uh, separate and independent uh, microservices. Each of these microservices has a uh, each of these microservices has a separate server to run and a database to uh, store data. Uh, let me share the screen. As you can see in the backend, we have total nine microservices. Uh, also, we use uh, Docker and Kubernetes to deploy this uh, this web application. So, uh, from these microservices, I created this authenticate microservices. This microservices is used to authenticate users and authorize them. So, uh, sellers can go. Uh, so, uh, users can uh, log into the uh, log in and sign up as sign up to the system as a seller or a buyer. Also, we limit the number of admins for this web application. We built and uh, we built uh, we created inbuilt uh, admin. So our web application can only have one admin. So uh, other admin, uh, other users cannot uh, sign up to the system as a admin. So they can only sign up to the system as a uh, seller or a buyer. Also, uh, I restrict uh, some routes to uh, sellers and buyers. So uh, I restrict. Uh, uh, as example, uh, admin can only uh, uh, let, let me go into the uh, front end and explain. Uh, let me sign up as admin. Uh, uh, in the in the uh, with these credentials, admin can only see uh, admin can log into the system and admin can only see these. Uh, table. This table is about the uh, register uh, is about the details of the registers uh, web, uh, uh, users for this web application. So uh, sellers and buyers uh, can't see this. So uh, let me also uh, log into the system as a buy, uh, seller quickly. Uh, so with these uh, credentials, uh, let the go into system as a seller. So. When a seller log into the system, he can see a different, uh, different uh, user interface. So uh, he can see his profile and he can uh, update account, update parser, delete pa delete account. So uh, also let me uh, log into the system as a buyer. So. Uh, so you can see for buyers they can uh, see this with uh, the cd uh, for buyers they can see this uh, user interface so i created th this in the back end so uh, you uh, sellers can't go into the web pages that can have uh, which uh, which have access to the uh, access, which have access to buyers and buyers can't go with uh, user interfaces which are uh, which have access to the uh, sellers so uh, that's all about my part of the system and thank you. Hello, my name is Trento Fernando and my student ID is IT2102153. A group number is group nine. Uh, so and uh, uh, we chose microservices as a group today. So let me share my screen. Okay. So we have created uh, nine services in a backend and I have created the delivery service the email service, uh, the SMS service, and part of the payment service. Actually, uh, only my, uh, my my email service and SMS service are not directly connected with the user. It's uh, more like uh, connected with other server services. So I can only show the payment and the delivery one from the front end. So let me show it. So now we are in the shopping cart. And uh, I have added an item to the shopping cart. So let me enter an address. And get prices for destination. 
this will call the delivery service and uh, display uh, two options to the customer the fast delivery and the cheap delivery the fast delivery has is costly but it uh, delivers quicker the cheap delivery is uh, low, low cost but it takes more time so we can select one and then uh, that's that's the delivery service part so i have also selected the, uh, created the checkout with dummy the payment service with dummy service so we have to fill the form for i have pre-filled one let me show you it's pre-filled and, and let me submit once it's submitted all these details are sent to the server and an email and an sms is generated and then a payment successful message is shown so let me show the email the email service is connected with google services so uh, uh, email is received saying your transaction of is completed and uh, that's in that's all i can show from the front end if i can show from the back end uh, i first we have to log in to the system and then successfully logging in you can send an sms to the number this is the dummy service you can send it it's not actually connected with anything you can send it successful and you can send an email also this one is connected with google services mail successful we go to here we will test demo mail and uh, to make a card payment, the, these details are taken the name, mobile number, everything, and uh, payment. Okay, um, and let me send it. it. Takes a little time because uh, the email and it needs to send email. So once email and SMS are uh, successful, pass is sent. If not, it will. The same and that one also I'm going to save that uh, 500 one. and uh, the dead delivery service it uh, takes two in, uh, three inputs the ship from a ship to and the weight of this package this one is connected with multiple apis from the internet to get locations and distance and calculate uh, rates so that's all from my part Thank you. My name is Hesar Basam Mahindra. My IT number is IT21128622. We have designed the system using the microservice architecture. We used Docker and Kubernetes to design the system. I have done the product service and the review and rating service. So in the product service, it gives the services as to view the products, add products, update products, and delete products. For the rating service, it will give the service as to add a rating, to update a rating, and to, uh, to view the rating. So now I will log into the system as a seller. I have now logged into the system as a seller. In here, you can see I have previously add a product to the system. And to add a product to the system, in here you can see there's an add product button. If, if you click the add product button, it will give you this form. After you give the details to the form, you can submit the form and add the products to the system. In here, there's an update button. So if you want to update the system, you can click the update button. There's a form again as the add product. So it will show up if you give the valid details to that. And you, if you want to update this product, you can update the product. Or if you want to delete the product, you can click the delete button. It will show, it will give this alert message. If you click OK, it will delete it from the uh, table if not it will still show in the table so i will add a product in here
as you can see, I have now given the details to the system to, uh, to the form. So if I click the submit button here, it will give this alert message successfully added. Click OK. Now I will log out from the system as a seller and I will log into the system as a buyer. And I will show you the products that how the buyer can see. So I have given the email and password to log into the system as a buyer. So these are some of the products that have been added to the system from other uh, sellers. Here you can see the products that I have been added were shown in the system. So this is for the product service. You can view, update, delete and add products. So for the review part, if you click here, if you click here, info, you can see the information here. If you want to rate the product, you can see the information of the product. And if you want to rate the product, you can click these stars and you can rate these stars for, you can give a four or three and write a review and submit. So if you submit, it will show in the system and you show give the seller uh, a rate and a review to his or her product. So that is from my, so that are the things that I have done in the system. These are my services. Thank you. Hello, I'm Antishantana. My ID number is 8120 And in my case, I have created a card and payment, but I have created a separate service as card and payment with individual backends. Uh, both backends are connected to the one front end. Uh, after that, uh, all the services are dockerized and then added. I have added uh, Kubernetes. And, uh, um, in the backend, uh, this is the folder structure of uh, uh, my part and uh, uh, payment part and also card part. Um, all the services are uh, individual, indi individually. Uh, I have uh, started um, in the front end. Um, I have created card part um, and you can see the uh, products page uh, in this uh, window. After that, uh, if, you, if you want to add uh, some products into the card, uh, simply by clicking this info button. Uh, if you if you are happy with this product, uh, you can add into your cart. This you can see uh, after adding. If you want to uh, get many products, you can uh, simply click plus button. After that, uh, you can increase your products. In my case, I will buy one product. After that, I can uh, add to the cart those products. And you can see those added products uh, will display in the cart. Uh, after clicking this button, you can see the shopping cart. Mm. And also, uh, in my case, I have created uh, only check with uh, strap part. After uh, all the uh, calculations will be done at the table, price, quantity, and this product name. Mm. You can see the details in the shopping cart. Mm. Yeah. And also, before buying, uh, order summary will display cart order uh, commission. And also total price and also item count. In my case, I didn't uh, do the delivery part. Uh, uh, after that, uh, by using check with stripe button, you can see the uh, payment. Uh, just to ask the correct credentials. Mm, after that, uh, the 
model is successfully completed. Um, uh, in the straight part, uh, first of all, I have to add uh, items to the path. We can see the added items in this button. And after that, by clicking this button, I can see the uh, uh, shopping, shopping cart details. And also, next, I have to, if you want to pay uh, with uh, Stripe uh, for for window cards, uh, uh, I'm not robot uh, is captured is completed. Now after that, I can can redirect to the Stripe payment page. Uh, if you want to pay with uh, Google, you can do this. Uh, and also, if you want to pay with card, you can use simply the card by adding shipping information, and you can turn payment via Stripe also.